Hey, what's up, guys? So I want to show you about something that uh, I've been doing with Nomad Sculpt. Of course, we can only use four lights in Nomad Sculpt, and I like to make really dark scenes where there's bits that are lit up and things like that. So I always need more lights. So if you notice in my scene, I have all these little mushrooms and I wanted the mushrooms to be illuminated. Uh, I wanted the light to kind of bounce off of him and bounce off of the ground and things like that. So essentially I'm just faking the lights. As an illustrator, it's something that I always think about even in 3D, which is drawing on the actual meshes. Uh, for example, you'll see that even around like these little like stones and around him, I added a little bit of a more of a shadow. I just kind of darken the color of the earth. And it's just something that I do from illustration. That's what, if this was an illustration, that's what I would do. Uh, if the mushrooms were illustrated, I would illustrate the light underneath it. Uh, and it really works for something like this because otherwise I would only have a light here, a light here, a world light, and a light that sort of looks like it's supposed to be from the moon. Um, so it's pretty easy to see what I've done once I kind of go in close and show you. And I just, I stay in post-process most likely, most of the time because that's the view that I wanna show, you know, so it's a little different than this. Like this looks a little bit worse. I'd have to do the colors a little bit different to be used on this light. But in post-process, uh, it looks a little bit better, especially with the blurs and stuff like that. It's a little more passable. So essentially I just take whatever color I'm using, like for example, Let's get rid of this layer. Wait, no. Uh, let's see. We'll get rid of this layer. And I have the light here. I have a, what light is it? Let's show my lights. So I have this light here, which is in a good spot. But the only problem is it doesn't, these don't have any glow. The other ones I've added a little bit of glow. These have no glow. So I'm just gonna sort of try to match this color of the light. So just go to a color that looks fairly simple. Take my paintbrush. I usually make it low so I can, you know, I, I want it to be subtle. I'm just going to add a new layer so I can erase this because I'm probably not going to spend too much time on it. Pretty big brush, low opacity, and then I just sort of build up little by little. Make a nice circle, make a little bit darker in the middle, and then I'll just go a little bit lighter and make the brush a little bit um, smaller and raise the opacity a little bit because it would be brighter right at the right in the middle, just so there's a little bit of a change in in brightness. And then I just take smooth and I just sort of smooth it out. And in a pinch, you know, when you're doing a scene, it just kind of helps to give that glow um, if you need it. So, of course, you can be creative and do this with other things. There's other pieces of artwork that I've done um, that have had to do similar things to. But it's fun. It's a little trick that I always use, faking light, because I need like 10 lights. Four is just not enough for me. But I'll wait for whenever update that will be, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you all in the next video.